Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Weekly tarot reading November 4th to uh, November 10th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card that we do have as a topic of our week, that is going to be the Sun card, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome here, that is to be the Six of Cups, followed by the third card, which stands for the positive aspect of uh, our week, that is going to be the Empress. And then the last one that stands for the guidance that Tarot is offering to us, we do have the uh, Temperance card. All right, so uh, it looks like that this is to be quite of a good week for us, Scorpios, <clears throat> or Scorpio. And uh, the topic, which is the sun, is going to be catalyzed with the nine of swords. Very interesting, actually. So we do have an active friend in this position. And um, these two cards are, are showing that we are to attend into uh, in toward our weaknesses. So we are going to reflect our weaknesses in a sense of that, for example, if we are weak into our relationship life, this is where we are going to try to make progress in. If we are weak into our career, then this is where we are going to try to make progress in. And when we're talking about progress, <coughs> excuse me, The sun itself, it, uh, it shows that we are going to uh, identify or define for ourselves a, a field of growth. What I mean is that we are not going to attend to a meaningless, pointless and futile as well. A uh, endeavors being, being said that we are not going to, for example, date with a, a guy or a woman that this thing is doomed from, from the very beginning, but whatever we intend to, that thing definitely have a, a potential to grow moving forward. Because the Sun card really offers us a, uh, a natural extension to our current uh, to our current standpoint and to our current situation not to mention that the sun itself is a card of happiness a card of joy a card of glee monetary success exhilaration you know and uh, passion in um, in general but that is only if we are um, if we acknowledge that there are uh, fields into our life that we are not putting a maximum that we can, and when we do define those fields, for example, our marriage, you know, or our career, like I said, um, and we start, you know, fixing this, meaning to give more into those fields, it is when it is where we are going to um, achieve a significant progress 
throughout this week. So the next card here stands for the uh, challenges that Tsaru is, uh, that, uh, is showing uh, to us. We do have the uh, Six of Cups. And then the next one is going to be the Queen of Wands. So we do have a passive enemies. Um, well, uh, challenging wise with these two cards, it looks like that things are not going to go exactly our way. What I mean, it is that the improvement in itself that I have that I talked about in the previous two cards are going to come by um, when we actually uh, it's difficult to explain it. I will try to say it that way. So we do have our ways, right? We are used to do things in a very specific manner, in a very specific order. We are used to date in a specific way. We are used to tackle with our tasks into career in a specific way. Well, this improvement will require a new way of, um, you know, of a, um, how do you say it? performance a new way of performance and uh, definitely we will we are going to kind of feel frustration trying to find that way of a uh, performance for example if you are very direct with uh, your suitors or with person of interest maybe you will have to be more polite all right this time around or you have to try to be more polite this time around. If you are very hesitant into your career, well, maybe now is the time to be a bit more decisive, isn't it? So it's kind of like trying the other way around of how things could work and seeing that actually this could be a, a very valuable arsenal of tools of how we can um, we can basically take advantage of this natural growth that is given to us uh, throughout this uh, throughout this week. But nonetheless, uh, in one or another way, we are to adapt to the situation. It just it depends on how difficult this is going to be. For those who recognize that really that the improvement they seek, reside, seek resides into a new ways of doing things straight away, it's going to be a very easy transition position other people stubborn like me we are gonna learn it the hard way around and uh, but at the end of the day we are gonna have that nat natural progression or okay? a natural growth into our career and into our relationship life as well so uh, what is the positive aspect of the week that is going to be the Empress card and uh, while well, the other one is going to be the death card so that is the um, uh, involves a decision making so these two cards are pointing that we are um, at least at the start of the week we are clinging into concepts or and an events from our past that does not provide anything for us whatsoever that could be the stubbornness for example that i'm giving myself for example okay that there is no point out of it it could be that we are that you are smoking it could be noxious habits okay or it could be just in an yielding standpoint and so on and so forth my point here is that this week uh, in a positive aspect uh, it does look like that we are we will want to have some days to spend on our own just so we can scale the pros and cons and attend to this decision in a mature fashion what we have to liberate ourselves from so we can adopt these new ways of how to do things and therefore provoke a, a natural growth into our life career-wise or relationship or relationship wise because um, on a positive note once again we are going to fully understand that this time around if something isn't work out it is because of our fault and the seeds of our labor either bitter or good uh, or sweet or uh, you know good or bad or sweet or bitter uh, are going to be ours to eat and um at the end of the day, we can be only mad to ourselves. Therefore, uh, on a positive note, we will have a decision to make, which we can definitely do in a very balanced and very um, well-found fashion, <clears throat> through which decision is going to breed a, a big result. 
Taurus, Scorpio. That decision will involve, you know, how to proceed forward with our career, how to proceed forward with our marriage, how to proceed forward with our relationship life, and so on and so forth. And the last card here regards to the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the Temperance, and it is accompanied with the King of Swords. So these are in an active um, friends, <clears throat> and actually completely fits with the positive aspect of the week. Basically, these two cards are saying that we can definitely find the sweet spot into our dilemma, how to do the things moving forward. So we don't have to actually place ourselves into a, a very uncomfortable position, or we can adopt those um, new ways or, uh, of performance into our comfort zone and become very familiar with them. Additionally to that, uh, guidance-wise, uh, when it comes to decision-making, this is uh, this regards to the positive aspect. We need to res uh, you need to reside or to dwell um, into your very sharp analytical mind because the way out of difficulties, according to these two cards, is going to be revealed only through a, through a thorough analysis over the situation. When you are uh, baffled in regards to your marriage or into your relationship, you need a thorough analysis mental analysis upon the relationship. <clears throat> the decision should not be made in a, an emotional fashion. Very, very important here. And uh, <clears throat> guidance-wise, these two cards um, says that you can reach a decision that is going to suit both parties, you and your husband, you and your wife, you and your suitor, you and your boss, you know, you and your friends, you and your family, and so on and so forth. It's just you don't have to rush it. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.